ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن اياته ان خلق لكم من انفسكم ازواجا لتسكنوا اليها وجعل بينكم موده ورحمه ان في ذلك لايات قوم يتفكرون صدق الله العظيم my respected brothers and my sisters today i'm going to talk on a very important subject and that is our family the most important part of the muslim society the basic unit the fundamental unit of muslim society that is our family system the family unit we always have to keep a bigger picture of our deen in front of us to really understand the true spirit of the family I'm going to also talk in detail about the relationship between husband and wife. The family unit is the basic fundamental structure to make the society healthy to for the prosperity progress of the society. So it's very important that we keep in mind as napoleon has said very rightly that if you give me good mother i can give you good generations so this family unit is the unit from where the generations are going to come out so to have a good generation in a society to have a healthy society is very important that we have a healthy family unit you know in the society allah subhanahu wa taala has sent down us for a reason wama khalaqtul jinna wal insa illa liya'budun that we have created for the ab- abdiyat the service that we are the ibad we are the slaves we are the servants of allah subhanahu wa taala so the focus of our life is to live through this life as a abd as a slave of allah subhanahu wa taala to achieve the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa taala living this life my brothers and my sisters you know the family system is based on two basic principles the first principle is taqwa god consciousness that you are always aware of the presence of god allah subhanahu wa taala in surah nisa the very first ayah in which allah subhanahu wa taala has mentioned that we have created you from one soul and then we have created multiple men and women from that one soul when the ayah is ending allah subhanahu wa taala says inna allah kana alaykum raqiba that always remember here the word is used raqiba raqiba it has you know bigger meaning than just seeing just watching rather allah subhanahu wa taala is the one who is supervising allah subhanahu wa taala is the one he knows everything you do that's why in the in the sermon of nikah you know this word is repeated again ittaqullah ittaqullah that in the family life the very first principle the fundamental foundation is taqwa that allah subhanahu wa taala is watching this relationship that he is supervising us and he knows that we will be answerable to him for everything we do in our family life this is very important The second basic principle of the family system is justice with ihsan that we have this relationship with each other and we want to fulfill 
our responsibilities with the ehsaan ehsaan is that you go extra mile you try to fulfill your part of responsibility as best as possible you do not wait for the other person to be nice to you you don't wait for other person to fulfill his you know uh, responsibility rather you take care of your responsibility you know this relationship of uh, husband and wife to run the family you know to have this family unit started yes you need some legal you know procedure policy and procedure and to finish to end this relationship you need some legal process and procedure but to run this system you know you don't need any legal policy and procedure rather you need really true connection between the two souls the connection of the heart the connection of rahma the connection of mawadda that's why in surah rom allah subhanahu wa taala has you know very rightly said the aya i read in front of you in which allah subhanahu wa taala is saying wa ja'ala bainakum mawaddatan wa rahma and we have put this mawadda and rahma between you between two of you the husband and wife the very first principle which i will say you know when you start this journey of the family husband and wife that our intentions should be very pure that we are not having family for some business transactions the family we are starting is only for sacred reason and the reason is to please allah subhanahu wa taala this is a command of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that this is his sunnah and then he loves people who follow the sunnah of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and through this family unit you want to achieve the ultimate goal of your life to make this dunya your janna and your akhira janna through the family life you know the aya i read uh, in front of you my brothers and sisters in which allah subhanahu wa taala is saying that i have put this mawadda and rahma between husband and wife mawadda this love is not a ordinary love this love is not that out of emotion you have something for day or two or three and then it's vanished finished rather mawadda is unconditional compassionate love that is unconditional love same what we expect from allah subhanahu wa taala that allah loves his creations even if his creations are not following his path he provides them the air he provides them oxygen he provides them food he provides them shelter he facilitates their life even they are disobedient to allah subhanahu wa taala but allah has love which is unconditional compassionate love to his creations that is the love allah wants us to have in this relationship of husband and wife the second word allah here is has used rahma and this is the same root from which rahim comes and rahim you know there is a reason why allah subhanahu wa taala has used the word here from his sifat of rahim rahma not from rahman because rahman is a sifat of allah subhanahu wa taala to understand there are some words which come from the same root for example the word jawan or the word you know ghadban jawan is then when you are very hungry but once your appetite gets killed you get full with the food that you know extreme of appetite is gone same way is ghadb you are very angry but as soon as after few minutes few hours your anger goes down it disappears but the word here allah has used is from rahim rahma and the the words to explain it little better 
the same you know root words are Rahim and Jamil so if somebody is Kareem then he will be Kareem in all circumstances he will be Kareem in the morning he will be Kareem generous you know at night at day in public in privacy he is he's generous man and if somebody is Jamil he will be Jamil means beautiful you know no matter it's not like he will be Jamil at night and he will be ugly in the daytime. He will be Jamil. His husn, his beauty will always be there. Same way Rahma is the sifat that this is also will always be there. Doesn't matter what happens. Even if you are having a rough ride, the Rahma will be there. So these two words Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying Ja'ala that we have put between two of you. Allah is the one who has put these two you know beautiful you know, sifat of uh, mawadda and rahma between husband and wife. My brothers and my sisters there is another ayah of Quran which I will uh, share with you which is Hunna libasul lakum wa antum libasul lahun that you both for each other is like a dress of each other. Libas the word used Quran, libas, libas the dress, you know beautiful words, libas has four qualities, the first quality of libas is that it beautifies you, the second is that it hides if you have any disease, any problem or anything, it hides any you know deficiencies you have in your body and the third quality of the libas it protects you from all kinds of weather cold hot and the fourth quality of dress is the libas is that it is always with you it does not leave it doesn't go away from your skin it is always there these are the four qualities should be ref there reflect in the life of husband and wife that they beautify each other they are there in their good time and their bad time in all the hardship so they cover each other and they hide each other's deficiencies they don't share each other's deficiency with anybody and they are always together they are always together you know it's beautiful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran has said you know he created Adam and from Adam he created Hawa our mother so from one to two and when husband and wife then from one from two souls he make them one soul they are together again so they are together again to make one complete you know human being as a family my brothers and my sisters there are few more things I will share with you about this relationship of husband and wife you know for husband and wife we have to understand this you know this is a journey this mawadda this love does not get developed in one day you know I always give an example you have a seed and you put that seed and then you have to let that seed grow you will provide all what it needs and you will wait and you will help the seed to become a small tree and then become you know a full blown tree with the shade it does not happen you know on one day or two days it's a journey and sometimes it's a painful journey it's a journey of sacrifice that both husband and wife they sacrifice for each other they don't complain to each other life is not full of always you know everything goes the way they want so life has its ups and downs this is why it is life so and i always give i always give this an example also you know especially for our sisters i tell my brothers you know brother for you it might not be a big change after marriage but for sister for your wife it's a big change she is coming from her family to a totally new family. Everybody is a stranger there, including husband. 
so for her to establish herself the example is that you take tree out from somewhere which was already rooted there and now you want to plant this tree at a different location the roots of this tree will take some time to to get stable in the ground again it does not happen in one day or two my brothers in this relationship husband and wife need a lot of patience from both sides and wallahi i have seen people lose patience in one day they feel like it's a switch on and off and they expect from the other party everything from day one and i tell them you know brother this is a journey this is a journey that you start from a seed to make it a full tree it will take time you have to put your effort in it you have to invest in it you have to be patient in it and you have to sacrifice in it you have to control your nafs in it and once you will pass through all this difficulty and hardship one day you will find this tree is going to provide shade to your family and to the future generations of your family my brothers and my sisters so i i ask my brothers and my sisters in this relationship of husband and wife because i am also a family counselor for our community and i am a medical doctor uh, and my field is pediatrics so i deal with families you know all the time and i travel all around the world and i have witnessed i have witnessed families falling apart because they don't have the right understanding of the purpose of the family family is not just to fulfill certain desires family is not just about intimacy family is not just about you know some superficial meanings but there is a bigger meaning of the family and if we do not understand that then we all fail you know as a family down the road my brothers and my sisters now it is also very important that we understand that in this journey we have to realize that to run this relationship don't follow just this myth that this is my right that i am going to do and this is your right that you should be doing and in this relationship brothers and sisters one more thing which i want to emphasize little bit more is that to run this relationship never go in this discussion in this debate of you know my rights and your duties never go in that discussion this relationship is beyond that you know never go in this discussion my brothers we always should be ready to go extra mile extra mile without going in this discussion oh this is not my responsibility to take care of your mother this is not your responsibility this is your responsibility you will take care of the the laundry or the dishes you know all these things we decide mutually with mutual understanding and you know we try to accommodate everybody in the family you know when we have marriage between two husband and wife it's not just a, the meeting of two individuals it's a meeting of the whole, two families together so we have to take everybody together in this journey the family of the husband side and the family of the wife side so we have to make sure that we develop relationship in such a healthy way that we all walk this journey together my brothers and my sisters so i will conclude with this brothers and sisters the only thing i have you know request that in this relationship try to you know give yourself some time try to be positive in this relationship try to pitch in your share 
try to go extra mile try to accommodate you know the family you know of each other and we always have you know uh, the best of the example for us is the life of the prophet muhammad sallam prophet muhammad sallam you know if i give you a couple of examples you know to so that that will uh, that will help us to understand really what true love is what level of relation we should have with each other and i will use here the word emotional intelligence which is very very important in this relationship of husband and wife you know in psychology and in modern sciences this term uh, emotional intelligence is a most very recent term 4 5 years but our prophet has taught us this emotional intelligence 1400 years ago emotional intelligence is that you understand your emotions and then you understand the emotions of the other party and you try to match the two emotions you bring your emotions to the level of the emotions of the other party so that you can have a good combination of two i'll share with you example of aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha one time prophet came to her aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha and he spoke to her in her you know ear whisper even though there was nobody else he could have said it loudly but to show aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha that how emotionally he is attached you know to her to give this closeness the feeling of closeness to aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha prophet goes and whispers in her ear that aisha i know when you are angry and when you are happy with me when you are angry you say you swear by the god of ibrahim and when you are happy with me you swear by the god of muhammad you know let's analyze this example from emotional intelligence perspective the first thing prophet has come at the emotional level as i said before of aisha to make her feel very comfortable attached close to him and now he is sharing the example to her and telling her that aisha whenever you say something i pay full attention to that i am listening to you number 3 i am not only listening i am paying attention to the words you use and the another another lesson we learned from this example that we should give chance for other party to show her emotions how many times we allow our sisters to show their emotions so they have right also to show their emotions my brothers and my sisters and look at look at the response of aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala says to her sister ya rasulullah no matter what word i use when i am angry or happy but i want to tell you one thing that your love in my heart is always the same your love in my heart is always the same and you know another example i'll share with you because i really feel like that a lot of time we don't share our feelings with each other there is nothing wrong in saying to your wife and wife to husband that i love you you know sh- showing that gesture of love to each other and look at prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala no anha used to drink from a vessel prophet will find from which side where exactly she has touched her lips and he will go and drink from the very same place from where aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala has you know drink my brothers just to show her that attachment that love that he cares about her and how much love and caring he has for her sallallahu alaihi wasallam my brothers and my sisters this is always good to share to revive a lot of time if the marriage is 5 10 20 years old we feel like you know it is 
long time but you know sh showing your love to each other and you know expressing your love to each other it always revives you know our relationship it always brings more happiness in this relationship which we needed time to time you know while going in this journey as a husband and wife to raise our family down the road I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gives you and me tawfiq that we can make our family relationship the ideal relationship because healthy family guarantees the healthy society my brothers and my sisters if we do not have peace at home we will not be able to have peace at our workplace we will not have peace in our ibadah so peace at home that's why in arabic the home is called maskan maskan from where you can go and get sakina tranquility peace so if we do not have peace or sakina at home then our whole life gets disturbed because of that to have this sakina we always have you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you know our you know witness we always should have focus on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are living this life just to please him and that is our focus he is watching us as he has said in allah kana alaykum raqiba that he is the one who is supervising this relationship so the when we will go with this focus allah will shower his mercy he will bring more you know blessings in our family life and he is going to let us grow as a husband and wife together to make our family the exemplary family for the society wa akhiru dawana alhamdulillahirabbil alamin assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh